In Canada, we have eight species of freshwater turtles. All of them, all eight species, are now species at risk. To help the turtles, we are collecting their eggs, incubating them, and releasing them back in the wild to try to boost their populations. This summer, we've collected over 600 eggs. Today, we're going to be releasing about a dozen snapping turtle hatchlings back to Mud Lake, where they came from. Turtles are an important part of wetland ecosystems. They're predators, they also eat um, dead things like dead fish and dead insects, so they help to clean up our wetlands. Without them, our ecosystems will be very, very different and much poorer without them. It takes a turtle about 20 years to become full grown, so it's a long-term investment to try to grow turtle populations. One of the main threats that turtles face is road mortality. Turtles often leave a wetland to lay their eggs and they often have to cross a road and that means many turtles get killed on our roads. Typically in June the adult females come out to lay their eggs. The females find a open sunny location, they dig a hole in the ground, they lay the eggs, they bury them back up and then the female leaves and that's the end of the mothering that the female turtles do. The eggs are on their own and then if those eggs hatch the hatchlings are completely on their own. So if you think of birds like robins that may be nesting at your around your house, birds in some sense have it easy. They lay their eggs, the parents take care of the eggs, when the young hatch out the parents even feed the young. Instead turtles have to do it all on their own. So many of those hatchlings will not survive because of predators. But many do live and eventually after about 20 years are full grown, are adults, and they too can breed as well. It's a strategy that's worked well for turtles. Turtles have been around for over 200 million years since the age of the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs went extinct, but turtles survive.